All right, guys, I've got the Zero FXS back from the dealer. I brought it to a dealer due to a faulty onboard charger. The dealer replaced that charger, and now I have the old charger, and I want to open that up and let you guys see what's inside of that. If you haven't seen the original video showing my $850 electric motorcycle repair of the onboard charger, check it out at the link above. In this box is the old charger, and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. All right, guys, I've got the old charger here on the bench. Let's open it up and take a look. I want to show you what a Zero FXS or the FX Series uh, onboard charger looks like. Here we go. Let's open it up. You can see the charger is well packed in here. There's this bubble wrap around the edge of the box and then this nice thick foam uh, protective frame around the onboard charger. So this is how the new onboard charger shipped and inside is the old onboard charger. The new onboard charger part number from zero is 45-08252 and it's a 720 watt onboard charger. Inside I've got the old charger. So this is what the old charger looks like. It's made by Green Watt Power and their part number is EVC-116 for 116 volts. That's the voltage that the zeros run on and 720 for the wattage. Here it is. You can see here on the upper right hand portion is the output and control for the onboard charger. And then here in the lower left is the input, AC input. And this is where you plug in your uh, AC cable when you're charging the bike. Again, I wasn't able to figure out exactly what was wrong with the charger. Um, the zero engineers, the two zero engineers that were working on the bike weren't able to nail that down. They just said that it, the charger was faulty. So I had to order a new one and we had the new one put in. So you can see here that the input for this charger is a AC range of between 90 and 264 volts AC, 10 amps max. And the output is 116 volts DC, 6.2 amps max, which turns out to be right up 720 watts. Okay, let's open this baby up. Okay, we've got all the screws out. Pulling off the lid here. Looking inside the zero onboard charger. Well, immediately what we can see, besides the fact that you can see the AC input coming in here, a couple wires, and then they get buried into this gray brick of epoxy. What this is called is epoxy potting. So let's take a look at what exactly epoxy potting is. So what is epoxy potting? Or more specifically, what is the potting of electronics? Well, according to Wikipedia here, in electronics, potting is the process of filling a complete electronic assembly with a solid or gelatinous compound for high voltage assemblies by excluding gaseous phenomena such as corona discharge for the resistance to shock and vibration and for the exclusion of water, moisture, or corrosive agents. So it's very important that our onboard charger here is one, resistant to shock and vibration, riding around on the motorcycle all day, and then two, the exclusion of water and moisture because you could be riding in rain, and we don't want that charger to go bad. Now, unfortunately, this charger has some sort of fault, and in potting, thermal setting plastics or silicone rubber gels are often used, though epoxy resins are very common, and more specifically in this charger, they have used a gray epoxy resin, Many sites recommend using a potting product to protect sensitive electronic components from impact, vibration, and loose wires. Well, unfortunately, due to the epoxy potting, we can't really do much to service this charger. The epoxy potting makes it nearly impossible to get inside the electronics and figure out what caused the fault. Just to make sure it wasn't worth anything, I did post this up on eBay, 
with an asking price of $100 for about two weeks and didn't get any takers. All we have here is just a giant paperweight. So unfortunately, we'll have to dispose of this with all of our other electronics waste. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to Tesla Family Channel here on YouTube. We really appreciate all of our subscribers and everyone who watches our videos. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you soon. Check out all of our other videos as well. Also, follow us on Twitter at Tesla Family Chan. Use my referral code to buy a new Tesla and you will get 1,000 free supercharging miles. Or if you use my referral code to buy Tesla solar roof or solar panels, you'll get a $100 reward after system activation.